All right, thanks everybody for joining here today. Uh, this is uh, our first unboxing of the new BlackBerry 10 device. This is the uh, Z10, the all-touch device. Um, you'll notice uh, about this unboxing that there's no actual box, and that's because this was a Dev Alpha phone. We didn't actually get a box. It actually came in four manila envelopes all wrapped around each other. Um, I don't know if you can see the top of the screen here and the bottom of the device here actually has the serial number kind of engraved on it so that if, if this were to leak early, uh, we would basically get sued into oblivion. So, um, but we do have the phone. This is being filmed a few weeks before uh, the actual launch date. We wanted to make sure that you had something available for you. So we're going to walk through the phone, just show you what's kind of cool about it and why you may be interested in uh, hooking up a BlackBerry device. So first of all, you can see the, uh, the hardware here. Uh, I'm going to do uh, start a little bit of a war here and you'll see this is uh, uh, for reference purposes uh, an iPhone 5. Very nice device laying on top of the BlackBerry 10 so you can see that there's a little bit of margin there. It's a little bit bigger. If you want to see a Samsung Galaxy S3 phone, another beautiful phone, also see that it's marginally larger than this phone. So the, the BlackBerry phone is somewhere in between the, uh, the two devices. So very nice hardware, uh, all glass on the front pretty much, edge to edge. The back basically has a uh, dense rubber coating on it. It's sticky enough that it doesn't stick, it will stick to tables, it will stick to your dashboard pretty well. But when it's in your pocket, it doesn't pull out the bunny ears and you won't rip all of your cash or your whatever you got in there out all over the floor. So um, pretty cool device. You'll notice that it does have camera on the front, camera on the back. Um, because of the size of the screen, I'll rip this open real quick. You can see that it does have a uh, pretty large battery in it. So um, time will only tell for me how long this thing will actually last on a full charge. Right now, uh, I haven't lit it up on the telco network yet. Uh, probably be able to get to do that a little bit later this weekend. But uh, so far, it'll, it seems to be lasting over a day with the, uh, with the battery. Uh, so that's pretty good. Also has a uh, you know, micro USB. It also has a micro HDMI port. And you know, one of the things that you're gonna be hearing from RIM is they're really looking to do that desktop convergence. So they really want you to start using your phone for everything. So that's pretty much the, uh, the hardware. Very nice device. You know, I gotta say, BlackBerry always has had very well-built devices. So to unlock, you've got, you've got the power button on the top here. You've also got these uh, this, the volume rocker on the side. To unlock, you can either hit the power or there's actually this gesture right from the bottom, which actually leads to a good point. You'll notice that there are no real home buttons or back buttons or anything like that on the device. So a simple swipe up and I have unlocked the device. Now that's a you know, pretty interesting way to, to unlock it. You'll notice that there was no password on, that initial, uh, on the initial screen. Uh, we're gonna get into how they separate work and personal stuff in a little bit, and that's why that that's not there. Um, something else I wanted to show you while we're in this section is while the screen is locked like this, there is a new bedside mode. Again, a swipe down gesture will bring up this really beautiful red on black clock that even the background on that with the menu to navigate turning on the alarm and setting the time, that fades away and then eventually the, uh, the clock actually fades away as well and then a quick uh, hit on the power button and it lights up. So really slick, a little bit nicer, you know, it's not quite as uh, bright and, and, and white as the, uh, as the former Blackberry. So let's go ahead and unlock this thing. So, you know, you'll notice a relatively familiar app tray that everybody has been, you know, the, the, the similar style. Super smooth navigation, and you'll notice that the, uh, the apps will actually overlay on top of each other, so a very nice effect there. 
and uh, the, it's very smooth. It, it's similar to, to Android in that way, but just a super slick device. So this is basically where all the apps are. You fire up something like the browser and you know, go to a website. This is actually you know, being referenced as the fastest browser on the market right now. Not just mobile, but all browsers. So that's pretty interesting. I've been playing with it. It has been great. Um, I've been using Google Play Music through it and, and using this phone as, as basically uh, like a Walkman kind of thing. And uh, it's been working great. What you'll notice is in order to minimize an app, what we can do is, again, it's just a gesture from the bottom. So I just toss that app down, and now that app is minimized. This is basically the widgets concept within BlackBerry 10. So again, if we come over here and fire up the weather app, I may want to keep this running and in the background so that I always know what the weather is going to be because it's so important. And so those apps are now running uh, in the background, live tiles on this screen so I can swipe over into the, the traditional app tray and then come back over here. If you want to kill an app, there's a little X running in the bottom right corner there. And there you go, that app is now gone. <coughs> So when you're in an app, they've introduced a couple of really nice features here in order to navigate around the phone. So if I'm within an app, maybe something a little bit more interactive than the weather app, but I'm in here, I'm doing stuff, and the little red light goes on and I notice that there is a, some sort of a message going on, what I can do is take a peek. Oh, my hands are probably sweaty. I can take a peek here, so slide up, I'm holding my thumb on the phone, and on the left hand side, you'll see the different types of notification counts. So if that was like a Google Talk, um, if it was a LinkedIn message, if it was some other a Twitter message, you would see the different icon on here. So if I don't care, I can simply let go, and I'm right back to my app. So it's kind of cool to be able to, uh, to peek that way. If I wanted to get a little bit more information, what I can do, again, is slowly slide up. Okay, that's an email message. It could be something from someone at work that I need to action right away. Why don't I just slide over here and take a quick peek? And as you can see, this is where all my emails are. At the top, you'll notice that this is called Hub. If I don't care, I swipe back away. So again, it's up and over. This gesture is available from anywhere within the device. And so what's interesting about this is, so when I go into Hub, a lot of the, uh, the mobile platforms have a, a messaging aggregation app where you, you configure all of your message, you know, your social media applications as well as your email applications. And it's kind of nice to have them all in one place. So you only have to go to one little application to find all of your messages. The thing is in most platforms that is an application. So you'd still have to have an icon for it somewhere and go and find it and it'd have to be running and it's, it's just different. What this is, is built directly into the operating system. So it's very heavily integrated into everything on the phone. So as you can see here, if I go over to Hub, these are all of the accounts that I've got set up and if I wanted to dip into any of them, you can easily filter down. If you wanted to work through work email for an hour or two while you're waiting for a plane, you can easily do that. Uh, you wanna go into your Gmail or whatever, you can do that. Otherwise, you can look at everything all in one place. So, you know, we think that this is uh, going to be a, a very attractive thing for a lot of people. Something else that I wanted to, uh, to show is the work-life balance. We take over 700, 800 calls around BYOD every year at SoftChoice. And uh, you know, one of the things that people are really looking for is how do I separate work data from, from personal data? And, and how do I make sure that if I have to wipe the device, I can get rid of that? built all the way in, like down to the kernel level of QNX within this phone is, is the work-life balance. And to get at it from a user perspective 
it's from the app tray, it's a simple gesture down from the middle, right? And I can pick either personal or work. Notice when I chose work, the desktop background changed and I also my icons changed. There's a lot less applications in here. And so the point is there is absolutely no mixing between these applications. So as an example, as a corporation, I may not want my users using a cloud-based storage service. So something like Dropbox or Box. Great services, but as a corporation, I may not want my users putting my corporate data on there. I spend a lot of money creating a, a security strategy internally, and that kind of goes out the window if I'm letting my data go somewhere else. And so with this work-life balance, the user can easily have something like Box or Dropbox on their phone in the personal area. However, in work, the administrator through Bez 10 can prevent that app from being installed. So through work, they have an actual separate BlackBerry app store where only apps that the administrator allows will be available to the users. So I hope that was a pretty good overview. I just wanted to run you through some of the main features of the device and, and what is kind of setting them apart from the competition. I think that this is absolutely a, a viable competing product to, uh, to what's out there, particularly in the enterprise. There are a lot of other cool consumer features. Uh, the phone, or sorry, the uh, camera as an example, has this time delay where you can actually make sure that everybody's smiling and everybody's got their eyes open. Pretty cool. There's some really cool new features to BBN, uh, BBM, sorry. And uh, so from a consumer perspective, we really think that there's some stuff that people are going to like. People are worried about the apps. Uh, RIM is promising about 70,000 apps to be available at launch, which is happening as you're probably seeing this today on the 30th or the 31st. So uh, we think that there's some really cool things uh, ahead for BlackBerry and for consumers and enterprises alike. So thanks again for your time and uh, please leave some comments.